All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Fallout 2 Regenerated, where today we are back here in our beautiful TARDIS after spending a little bit of time off camera doing a few things, primarily, of course, waiting for our next quest here, which I'm very excited about, but also primarily doing a whole lot of fabricating. Oh, I'm so happy about that thing. I was very excited in the last episode when we discovered that that did not require any Artron energy. So it's, yeah, just free resources, and as you can see here, I've been, I've been making a lot. <laughs> now, unfortunately, unfortunately, I still don't have the materials I want or need yet, because a big reason I've been doing the fabrication is I want to finally get around to upgrading my uh, sonic screwdriver here to a nicer model, but I just can't seem to fabricate screws. Now, I can, of course, go back to one of my settlements and grab some screws. I got crap loads, but I figured, what the heck, let's use the fabricator to handle all that. Yeah, that's the one thing I'm missing right now. I got everything else I need in the right quantities, except for screws. Perhaps I should try replicating some junk rather than just materials. Perhaps I'll be lucky with a junk item that will have screws. Hmm... Hmm, that might be a good idea. We'll see, but of course we are back here to do the next retrieval plan. This time getting the comparator, which I'm excited about. Uh, I'm not really excited about, it's kind of a meh thing, but it will give us one display here with the fault locator to show us our full TARDIS status with health, etc., which currently doesn't fully function. So I would like to get that going, and then, of course, work towards the rest of our things. And yeah, the final thing I finally found off cam was where the uh, power conduit is in here, right here, which, for some reason, I can't seem to um, recharge my sonic screwdriver off of. I wonder if my sonic screwdriver has to be empty before I can charge it here. Hmm. Also, I'm amazed that I missed this for so long. You literally walk down the stairs and it's right in your face, but somehow I kept walking right by it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start off today by uh, actually doing a little trip with our TARDIS. We didn't do one last time, but what we did get in the last episode is the upgrade that finally made it so the NAVCOM here works. So we no longer have to rely on the zigzag plotter for random flights, we can actually go in here now and select. So we're going to go to Sanctuary. Yeah, just a Sanctuary Hill. So we're in a, ni a nice, safe outdoor location for the TARDIS that we can then easily fast travel to later. So we got to do that. And then I did finally learn this panel, though the helmet regulator is kind of hard to click there. And then I need the space-time throttle. We'll stick with low warp just because... I don't feel like panicking too much. <laughs> then the... Uh, oh, boy. What was the lockdown mechanism? Oh, boy. Oh, I've forgotten where the... Oh, no, it's this here. It's this here. Locking down mechanism and then time rotor handbrake. Oh, the door! <laughs> oh, I did everything, but I forgot the freaking door. All right, let's try that again. Back to Sanctuary, Sanctuary Hills, then Helmic Regulator, then Space Time Throttle, Low Vorp, Locking Down Mechanism, and Time Rotor Handbrake. Let's roll. All right, now we got to watch all this crap. We haven't flown in this TARDIS configuration yet, so I'm intrigued to see how the controls are going to highlight. Oh, boy, I'm not seeing anything so far, which is worrisome. And also real worried it's going to be on the other things. Oh, I think we just took some damage. I didn't see any highlights. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's not good. So either I'm blind as a bat, which is always... Oh, God! What did I just do? Hostile craft. I forgot what yellow is. I think yellow's run away. But I finally saw a highlighted thing. That's good. Though I... Oh, God, there it is. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, hostile fire. We took hostile fire. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Yeah, these are... I, I'm having a harder time finding the highlighted things on this console than on the previous ones. Oh, there we go. They're charging weapons. Oh, and then the helmet regulator. There we are. Oh, then you on the vortex loop. Disengage failed. Oh, no. Oh, God, that's not good. <laughs> Maybe we should change back to the other 
uh, TARDIS configuration. I'm just not seeing the highlighted things on here. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh, oh god, I still don't remember what yellow was with that. I should really read that, but again. Oh, and there we go. Oh, and there we go. Disengage failed again somehow. Ah, crap. Oh, we're getting attacked. Oh, boy. This isn't good. <laughs> we're gonna crash. The TARDIS is gonna crash. Oh, crap. You know what? Oh, they're charging weapons. Uh, go with the red for change. What the hell? Change it up. Oh, God. Then I gotta... Did that. Oh, and then that. Inflicted 33% damage. Oh, evading hostile fire. Oh, boy. Oh, no. We've definitely damaged the TARDIS here. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to check the systems when we're done. Uh, what, was, what did green do? I don't remember. Oh, I didn't even hit the green. There we go. I had another switch. Uh, oh, we got it over here. There we go. I restored shields back up a bit. Oh, yeah, my shields. We're just still getting shot at, aren't we? Uh, we're screwed. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I'm just not seeing the... Th oh, hello. There we go. Charging weapons. Let's go with that. Then that. Then that. Disengage failed! Oh, come on! How? How do we keep failing it now? Oh, boy. Yeah, we weren't doing this poorly with the other TARDIS consoles. Hmm. This is worrisome for me. We're going to die. <laughs> well, more we're gonna crash the ship. Okay, shoot back at them. There we go. Oh, thank God everything was there. Inflicted 37% damage. On top of the 33 we did before, that's pretty good, actually. Oh, God, they're attacking, though. Oh, we're gonna die. Okay, where's the next thing? Where's the next thing? Yeah, I'm just not seeing highlights. Oh, God, that's the one by me. Then that, then, oh, God, it's up there. Oh, come on, there we go. Disengage failed again. Ah, uh, for... F <laughs> oh, my God, how are we doing so bad this time? We've never done this poorly. And I think we're kind of stuck in this loop until we do su successfully either destroy them or escape. Which is problematic. Oh, God, what were the other things? Let's just shoot them again. There we go. Oh, helmet regulator this time. Oh, and uh, the helmet regulator again. Inflicted 30... No oh, God, is that just counting up from the first one? Oh, no. Hostiles boosting defenses! Okay, how do we just run away again? I've entirely forgotten. We're, we're on this for too long now. <laughs> Uh, flight, in-flight procedures, do, 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 do. minor adjustments, uh, da, 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 da. oh, I think I passed the thing, I didn't see, oh boy, in-flight procedures, do that again. Orange, secrets and controls carried out in accessible navigation, makes, okay, the next page is the hostile stuff. All right, oh, here's what I needed, oh my god, I'm blind as a bat. Yellow was attempt to flee. Why were we... Hmm. Hmm. Well, we're in trouble. <laughs> I think we're finally going to experience what happens when a TARDIS crashes, rather than going to get the comparator today. Hmm. Well, I don't remember what purple is, but there we go. I literally just read it and I've already forgotten. Oh, God. Then that... Oh, we scanned them. Oh, tier three enemy. Oh, balls. <laughs> Alright, how's our ship doing, by the way? Shell's good. Shields aren't... Oh, nope, nope. 48% of the shields. They're attacking us. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, we don't do a whole lot of damage, do we? If we went from 33 to 30... You know what? Just try to flee. Then helmet regulator. Then you... Oh, but the disengage... Uh, can we not disengage now that we... I mean, we haven't been able since the first go. I think we might be stuck in this until we actually defeat them. Or die. One of the two. One of the two. I have a feeling at the moment it's going to be die. <laughs> Which, hey, on the plus side, will finally let us see what in the world happens when uh, this does occur. Uh, medium floor. Oh, that was to just speed. Crap. <laughs> I thought I got that, but I was ever so slightly above the other thing. Okay, I didn't actually realize we could adjust the flight speed while in flight. Intriguing. 
Okay, attack them once more! Oh, the red's over here, red's over here. Oh, then over there, oh god. Inflicted 25, but wait, what? How are they not dead then? Because with that being a lower number, I'm confused. How are they not dead? Well, yeah, just attack them again. I mean, TARDIS really isn't a combat vessel, but... Yeah, we inflicted 20... Don't tell me they've, like, repaired their ship or something. Oh, evading hostile fire! Oh, thank God. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, just... Oh, God, just try to run again. I don't think that's gonna work, though. Yeah, disengage failed. I think we're stuck in this now. Which is not good for us. Okay, just stand here until we get red again and just keep shooting at him, for crap's sake. Hmm. Alright, handle that. Handle that. Handle that. 36%. How... How is the damage being calculated there, frankly? Because if it's... You know... Either they repaired themselves and were back to the beginning effectively, or... This game doesn't know how to do math. <laughs> It went down again. It's 30. It was above 30 before. Because they, they keep boosting their defenses. Is that what they're doing with that? Which, dear God, if that's the case, we can never defeat them by attacking them. Let's find out here. So it was 30 last time. Now it's... Two Jesus, I think that's the case. I think that's the case. That is bull. <laughs> well, let's go back to here in flight procedures. So, green boost our own shields, perform an evasive action. I mean, maybe we try the dark blue next time. Because, yeah, this does not seem to be working. They Every time they boost their defenses, we go, we're, we're, we're losing traction on them. It's, it's a, you know, one step forward, two step back sort of a situation. Scanning them really to jack. We can't seem to flee from them anymore. We could boost our shields, but that doesn't get us away from this craft, which is the problem. So maybe if we can perform an evasive action, dark blue, and then hit attempt to flee with yellow. So let's do, let's try that this time. Crap, where's the dark blue? Oh boy, where's the dark blue? Wait for the next event. Come on! Uh, dark blue, which we've already tried before. Crap, I just realized that. Okay, okay. Evading hostile fire, and then if we stay over here for the yellow event to try and flee after an evasive maneuver. Let's see if that works. Because if not, we're boned. Oh god, there we go, and there we go. The disengage failed again. Oh, for Christ, and they're boosting their defenses, which means we're back to... We've taken even more than two steps back. Can we just go into siege mode? Crashing. <laughs> Siege mode engaged. We're crashing. Yes. Yes. We've been doing this for too long. I'm okay with this. <laughs> yeah, fighting with the TARDIS is not a combat vessel. It is not meant to fight. So, of course, we're taking one step forward, two back. Where are we? Oh, everything's on fire and damaged. <laughs> I have no idea where we're going to be now. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. It's actually pretty neat seeing the place on fire. Well, where is... Yep, there's the molecular stabilizer. Let's click that and vacate the... Oh, wait. Got to open the door first before I can vacate the capsule. Okay. And... Siege and... Oh, I can't open the door while siege mode is engaged. You know, that's a, that's a fair point. Can I disengage it now? Hmm. 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 So I can't leave while we're in siege mode. <laughs> so, which means I can't activate the the molecular stabilizer. Let's go back to the manual. Well, you know what? Hey, this is a new experience for this, which I'm actually pretty pleased about, rather than just going to grab a plan right now. I'm assuming we're going to be in... Oh, no, siege mode wouldn't be in maintenance. Never mind. Oh, uh, miscellaneous, perhaps? Supplementary controls, that's probably where it is. 
chameleon interface, homing beacon, or radio power. Magnetic car card reader. Nope. Okay, so whoops. Too far back. Too far back. Possibly in flight supplementary controls. Space time throttle. Stabilizer. Hads. Siege mode! Ha! In emergencies, a time capsule can be ejected from the vortex to protect itself and its occupants. If enacted during flight, a crash landing procedure will begin, and the TARDIS will seal itself for 24... Okay, okay. Disallowing anything from entering or leaving. All right, there we are. So we've just got away today. I can work with that. Okay, well, uh... You know what? Actually, before we wait, let's go see if the rest of the ship is damaged. I'm intrigued. <laughs> let's go find out. Oh, yep, I see debris. Oh, look at that. We still also have the warning bells going. Nice. I mean, you'd, you'd expect... I would be thinking there should be more debris around. Oh, hey, there's a nicer pile of debris. Hey, how's the garden look? Uh, da -da -da -dee. This should be the right way, I think. Yep. Oh, our poor library. Actually, it's not really suffered any damage. All the debris is outside. I mean, we got the red warning lights, but meh. How's it out here? Surprisingly okay. <laughs> really? No, no debris and broken stuff around? Huh. Weird. Alright, well, over this way. Neat, though. Well, we learned a thing. Don't fight with the TARDIS, which, I mean, we really should have known in the first place. This is not a combat vessel. It's not a, um... Oh, God, there actually is a specific TARDIS made for combat, but I'm forgetting what it's called now. Hmm. Was it one of the, the, the comics? I haven't read many of the comics, and so my lim knowledge on those is quite limited. <laughs> uh, was it just called Siege TARDIS? No, I don't think it had a different name than Siege TARDIS. Man, I don't remember now. Hmm. All right, well, oh god, everything's on fire. You know what? That's another thing. There was just debris in, out in the depths, no fire. Weird. All right, well, let's wait a day. <laughs> I can live with that. There we go. Then activate. Oh, we're gonna have to see what's outside. I have no idea where our TARDIS is now. Yeah, I worry about this particular... I, I really love the look of this particular TARDIS. It's by far my favorite of the three that we have. But yeah, I, oof, we got pulled into things, and I, I think I missed some controls early on that I just didn't see. And I'm sure, I'm sure, oh, Grey Garden's under attack. Oh, well, who cares? Uh, I don't know if they were over here or if anything popped over here. I didn't see anything. So, yeah, let's go check outside before we initiate the molecular stabilizer. Oh, also, I should probably check out how badly damaged are you? Badly. <laughs> I don't have any patch kits on me either. I forgot to make some. Really should have. Okay, well, let's see where we are. Sonic out. <laughs> I actually am quite intrigued to see where we are in the world. Hmm. Our first time activating siege mode. Oh my god, and I just realized the time. We're already mostly through this episode. <laughs> we haven't found a single part. <laughs> you know what, though? I'm actually pretty happy about this because we did try a battle. I mean, kind of against my will. I, every time we've previously done a battle, I immediately tried to run. But yeah, I think just... Hmm, I don't know. I We missed controls, obviously, in that flight procedure trying to get the sanctuary. And I'm, I'm wondering how obvious they're going to be to me once I watch back the video, or in my panic. Uh, so in my panic, did I just miss them? Or are they just harder to see in this particular console room? Oh, hi! Bad things! Oh, Deathclaw! Oh, God! <laughs> okay, getting a better gun out. Oh, hi, you. Oh, hold on a moment. I gotta get a good gun. Uh, pardon me. Okay, that's just very rude of you, sir. Yeah, there we go. You're dead. How dare you hit... Oh, God! You're in here! You're in here! <laughs> God, Jesus, you're dead. Okay. You know what? Everything's dead now. I think we're okay. Neat. <laughs> that was not a good place. To pop into the world. Ha! <laughs> I was also just looking for our TARDIS. I forgot we have the chameleon circuit on. How is the chameleon circuit functioning right now with all that? 
Alright, well, you know what? Everything's dead here now, so I'm actually alright with uh, fast traveling from here. Let's at least go find one part for today. <laughs> yeah, everything seems dead. I'm not seeing any red on the map. Turn on the siege mode for- oh, it's- oh, it's already repairing itself. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Why do I have two th icons? Hmm? Ah, no. <laughs> You're on your own great garden. Oh, where are we going? Oh, God, we're we going over here. Hubris Comics, eh? Alright, that's at least not a bad place. I mean, I was worried we'd have, like, a very big building we'd have to fight our way through. So, yeah, just go there, get our part, then wait for 24 hours for the ship to repair, and then head back in. But, yeah, I mean, I know the TARDIS is not a vessel for fighting, but, man... I don't know what we could have really done differently to actually win that fight. Because every time they boosted their defenses, again, it was one step forward, two steps back. And we just got in an infinite, we would just get stuck in an infinite loop of that. And I tried running multiple times and it never worked. I don't know. I don't know what we could have done there. Hmm. Commenters! Please let me know how we could have possibly gotten out of that if you have done so. So yeah, that was very awkward. Alright, let's go inside. Hmm. Maybe see if there's anything with screws in here too. <laughs> I still want those screws. I want to upgrade my Sonic. I mean, I still wish we could actually upgrade the Sonic, not just put a different model on it. A skin. That would be nice to make it more powerful, but yeah, oh well, what are you gonna do? Alright, let's see what we got inside Hubris Comics. I've not been in this building in so long, I don't know what's in here. Monkey! Oh, red! <laughs> oh, hi, I see you! How's it going? How's it going? Okay, ghouls. There we go. You know what? You guys might be easy enough to kill with the Sonic, just to use this a little bit more. It ran away. How rude. <laughs> Seriously, though, anything with screws in here? Ooh, the unstoppables. Yes. Not that I'll ever use that. Oh, storeroom key. That might be beneficial. God, have I never done that in this one? Decrypt. Yes. I mean, I really have no reason to do that, but it's a... Oh, God. It's a thing we can do. Oh, yeah, he died actually pretty quick there. Nice. All right. Well, stick with this. Oh, I also could have unlocked it with the with the Sonic. Well, this is not the room that we wanted, but okay. Oh, uh, I mean, we had the key, but let's unlock. Yes, Sonic screwdriver. Nice. Still wondering why that one terminal last time didn't work. That was very unfortunate. No, well, nothing there of value. Oh boy, a lot of ghouls. Hello. Where are you all? Oh, hi, you. Alright, you're coming. I see you. There we go. Alright. Oh. Still feels really wrong to be killing people with a sonic screwdriver. <laughs> like, really wrong. But, oh well. Oh, oh god. You're a, you're a tougher one. Okay, okay. Let's just... There we go. And... Die, please. Glorious. Eh, nothing fun. Uh, nothing good here either. Nothing, not noticing anything with a screw either. Oh, actually, fans have screws, don't they? I'm gonna take that. <laughs> oh boy, there's a lot more in here. Have this! And boom, he exploded. Magnificent. Alright, this is the floor we need. And unlock. That was an expert lock. Sonic took care of it quite nicely. There's our plan. Magnificent. No, no, I can't. Yeah, I always love that, but no. Ooh, stims. Can I also fall through this floor to the first floor? Or the okay, nope, nope. Unfortunately, we can't. Dang. All right, let's leave. Ooh, here we can drop. Nice. Where the hell am I? I mean, nope, don't need it. I'm lost now. There's another hole. <laughs> hey, now I know where I am. Wonderful. All right, well, let's get the heck out of here. 
and go upgrade our uh, TARDIS after, of course, we wait a little bit longer because it still has definitely not repaired itself by now. It takes 24 hours, and that is not going to be enough time from uh, fast traveling over here to back there. Should have remembered the time, though, so we did know how long it would be. <gasps> oh, crap. I also didn't pay attention to where we were, and I've completely forgotten what that place, where that place was that we were. Oh, no. <laughs> I forgot to look where we were, and I do not, for the life of me, remember that place. It was over here somewhere. Oh, crap. Is it Natick Banks? N N oh, no. It's been so long since I've been over there, I don't remember what it was. Was it Natick Banks? Let's just go here and find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really should have thought about that before we fast traveled. Oh, no. <laughs> Another problem with um, most of my playing of this game being uh, modded things nowadays. I don't remember, like, half of the Commonwealth. <laughs> Granted, that being said, even when we played this, you know, just did the vanilla playthrough of the game, I still never remembered. You guys know my god-awful memory. Is this the right place? Uh, I think think it is yes there's a dead death claw oh my god oh we're good we're good i got really worried there <laughs> okay well let's just do a day here wait there the tardis should be nicely repaired and then we will <laughs> we'll go inside and install the comparator yay <laughs> yeah i'm still just my i just keep going over in my head trying to th think of what we could have done with that fight and i just i just don't know i just don't know if there's any way we could have we don't have a fully upgraded tardis yet so maybe with upgraded defenses perhaps we could have but i don't know oh, no. oh god now hangman's alley wants help nah you're on your own in we go <laughs> let's go install our comparator also i mean did i remember to do another fabricate while we were away let's do materials and down we go. And lovely. Upgrade that. <laughs> God, still no friggin'... Still no screws. Alright, well, let us take a look at the fault locator then. Just real quick. So with that... Oh, boy, actually, that tells me a lot more than I thought it would. I just kind of figured it was a two-in-one thing, like we would see the shell readout and the shield readout there in one bit, and but it doesn't even show that. This is just showing us the, the six things downstairs that we're upgrading. Which, you know, for doing maintenance is actually quite handy, or would be if every time I needed maintenance, I just, you know, didn't hit the molecular stabilizer. <laughs> this would tell you exactly which things need a patch job. But yeah, I just prefer using the molecular stabilizer. It's easier. Hmm. All right, well, that is going to be it for today. I was planning on doing three upgrades, but instead we got locked in a never-ending battle against a ship, which actually, before we do leave, let's take a look at what the Tier 3 defense stuff is. Maybe that'll help us down the road. So the system upgrades. So for the defense complex, we have the Chameleon Circuit. The tremulator allows high had sensitivity. Oh, okay. So that's just going to help us, you know, in flight not have issues. If I'm remembering how HADS actually works correctly. Well, back to supplementary controls, actually. It had the HADS. Oh, no, it didn't have the HADS thing in there. I think that was in miscellaneous. No. <laughs> I've forgotten everything. Wait, no, I remember now, I think. There it is. Hostile action diversion system enables your time capsule to avoid vortex phenomena at varying levels of difficulty. Yes, we need the defense upgrade. When disabled, you will encounter both vortex phenomena and hostile craft. At low sensitivity, you will not encounter hostile craft while in flight. In high sensitivity, you will not encounter vortex phenomena or hostile craft. Okay, so we definitely need this for this this upgrade. <laughs> 
I am bad at those events. Granted, I still just don't remember seeing even once just like the normal things to interact with in flight. I only remember seeing flight things. So either we got caught in that hostile attack right away or there's something maybe wrong with this console or I'm blind as a bat. Let's be honest, it's most likely that third option. But we'll we'll figure that out. But hopefully you all have enjoyed this today. And you do come back for the next episode where, uh, yeah, we'll do a thing. And I still can't seem to charge my Sonic over here. Dang it. But until that time, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, we'll have a good one.